This is the Above the Corner Podcast. Come on! Good evening, citizens of Earth. Let's get it! Citizens Let's get it! Origin, or any other planet in the solar system. Chef Ron and Tay come together to bring you real life experiences. That's right. We touch on everything from life itself, entrepreneurship, family, business, finance, and so much more. We going above it all, baby! Another job well done! All right, fellas, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Chef Ron, the great, a.k.a. The Corner Store Chef, and we are back with yet another edition of Above the Corner Podcast. Listen, man, as you can see, the holdup has been very well worth it. We ain't got our own studio now. We lit, lit. Listen, man, I got two very special guests with me today, man, two living legends, man. Two of my two, these are my folks, you understand what I'm saying? You know what I mean? They, 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 they from Jersey, you know what I mean? So you know it's already, the love is already there. You gotta rep Jersey one time. Go ahead and introduce yourself, fellas, tell people who y'all is. How you doing? My name is Ayad, aka Ace, and um, I'm the owner of Flea Gods Clothing. Yes, sir. I'm Tari, uh, CEO a Hustling to My Bread, Live Eternally, and that's uh, Humble, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, how was y'all week, fellas? It was pretty good. Can't complain. Came out to Virginia, visit, got to see my peoples, a few other heads, do a couple business moves, just like like this one as well. Um, it was pretty good, though. Word, man. I ain't gonna lie. Mine was a little busy. Uh, you know, I've been, I've been having a lot going on. I've been taking some marketing classes. A uh, couple of days with Derek Grace. I had two classes this week with him, like, I'm doing like six hours, you know what I'm saying? So I had a had a pretty busy week. Got the sea moss jumping, all this other stuff. So it's like, word, word. we definitely gonna like, jump into that. We definitely gonna jump into y'all uh, ventures and everything. Y'all word. tell the people who you is a little bit. Of, you know what I mean, a little bit about your background, your history, and everything. Get the people a glimpse into who uh, who Ace is. Okay, um, Ace. Uh, so I'm from Jersey. I'm from Newark, and uh, I came out here to Virginia, Newport News, a couple years back. Did a, um, went to school out here a little bit, you know, and um, but while I was out here, I, I, I start learning about fashion and stuff, you know, and um, that's what brought me to to to, to the design and thing. And but I was seventeen, so and um, uh, Flea Guys is your brand, correct? Yeah. Okay. It's, okay. It's, it's, what 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 does Flea Guys mean to you, and what does it represent? Flea Guys to me more is more of a, a art, you know what I'm saying? That's why I say more than a brand. Because it's, it's art. I look at it more as art in that we all are gods, you know. And then flea, if y'all don't know what flea is, flea means fresh and it's fly, you know what I'm saying? So I put the two together and just made flea gods and then, you know, and now yeah. how we here. Flea, that's the up north lingo. Y'all, y'all know about yeah. that, you heard? Ree, my brother Ree, what's going on, man? What you, what you got? Uh, what should, tell the people about uh, Humble. What it represents, what it stands for, and uh, what does it mean to you? Um, so I'm going to go I'm gonna go a little, I'm gonna go a little deeper into the... Uh, and to the humble thing, like, um, so I lost my grandmother, like, December, like, right before Christmas of 2020, you know what I'm saying? And, um, when we was at the funeral, like, if you, if you look at, if you look at, like, my, my brand or whatever, like, my logo, it's a, it's a gorilla, he got a black suit on with a white shirt and a red tie. That was how, like, my grandmother said before she went, she wanted everybody at her funeral like that. So, when I seen that, it was just like after that day, me and my little brother Jelani, um, J Money, you know what I'm saying? We started talking about it. Like we 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 kind of created humble from that, and that was how we got the gorilla logo. Just like you know, we humble people. We do damn near everything. We just we just trying to find a way to to get some money, but as humbly as we know how. But if you know things get to that, you know the beast will come out. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's pretty much where where humble came from. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like. You know, I had to I had to really push that and then shortly after I lost my grandmother, I lost my little brother. So then I really had it was like that was like the fire under me, like, yo, you gotta get this thing going, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I I I think I can say that, um, would I be wrong if I said that you're a perfectionist? Yes. No, no, you wouldn't be wrong. I am a perfectionist. Like I be trying to get like I need stuff to be like real like really there like if it's if it's something like if i if i need it like even if it's water like if i need 
my pH, uh, uh, you know, nine or better, I'm right. not going to take a, a eight point nine. I just, I just can't do it because I know it's it's nines, nine fives, and even some tens out here. So I'm not going to settle for even an eight point nine. Like, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? The reason I say that is because, you know, I know you personally, and um, mm -hmm. I watched you sit on humble for a while, and yeah. um, it, it was it was quite a while, and you know, with me personally. I just I just push stuff out. I'll fix it. You know what I mean? I'll yeah, fix it. Yeah, yeah. I'll fix it after it's messed up. Right, you know right. what I mean? But you, I seen you waited, and it, honestly, you st you're still not really out. Yet, yeah, right? I'm not even all the way out for real. Like I, I got the website up. I got everything going. I've been talking to vendor after vendor after vendor. Like it's just like you know, I I got I got some some good samples. But again, like if I if I do something like if I wash it or something like that, and, and my my colors ain't you know, even similar or something like it's like ah, I hit you up like yo, what could we do about this? You got like a a step more, I'll pay a little bit more or whatever. But for the right. most part, if you can't do that, like I gotta find somebody else. Now you, you gotta know start what I mean? over from you scratch. Start you over. Build a whole new relationship. Yeah. Word. So uh, yeah, yeah. What, what what's some of the um what's some of the ins and the outs of the fashion world that you've dealt with? Some of the um some of the ups, some of the downs. Uh, learning lessons, pivotal points, mm -hmm. things of that nature. Okay, um, I'm gonna start with the the downs first, cause it's easier to get it out. Cause there's a lot, it's more downs than ups. Right. <laughs> so okay. with the downs, you going you're gonna learn that everybody does not have the same passion for fashion, just like you. You're not gonna, they're not gonna have the same style as you. So you gotta make something that's gonna that's gonna um um connect with everybody, with versatile, you know, boys, girls, whatever, and Another another down is the price point, you know? The price point is, is something that you really gotta you gotta think about because you might be taking a taking a L. You gonna take you might take a L because to make the shirt and to, to, to get the material for the shirt and then to ship it all out and all that other stuff and all the, the accessories that come with the with the stuff. So that's another that's another downfall right there is, you know what I'm saying, with the money part. And also, um, I can say uh, not being able to, not being able to be in control of certain things. Like um, for an example, I had an order where the stuff wasn't getting out until like a whole month, and it was not my fault. You know, COVID going on. You know what I'm saying? So um, I knew that's, that, that's, that's, a, that's a big down. That's a big big downfall right there. And like I said, that's nothing. That, that's something that's out of my control. But um, as far as um, the ups, ups. I like I like it because I go to like little um what do you call it uh, uh pop up shops. Right. I go to pop up shops and you get you get to learn about other people's style, other people's uh, material they're using, and the type of uh, printing printing they're doing, you know. And um, that that's kind of cool when 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 you uh, uh, come across those type of people. And also you get to, to put out your knowledge and exchange knowledge with each other, Network. even though we are doing the same thing. We are doing pretty much the same thing. And we, we still, there's so many differences inside the businesses um, still though. And when we exchange that, that, that knowledge with each other, I, I start picking up new stuff, uh, new stuff. Cause I used to uh, make all my shirts for anybody that got my shirts. In the beginning, when I first started in September, all my shirts was um, commercial vinyl. That's it. All Now all my shirts is direct to garment, like this one you, I, you see here. But, um, so you, you know what I'm saying? There's the ins and outs, but you go, you go, you learn. Learn. Word, word. Okay. So, question I got for both of y'all, y'all can answer separately. It's a million clothing lines out there. Mm -hmm. Way more than a million. We just, we being modest right now. Right. What made y'all say as, you know, as artists and as, uh, you know, fashionistas, I don't even know if that's the right mm -hmm. word I'm using. <laughs> what made y'all take a step and say, I'm not worried about what everybody else got going on. I don't care if my man down the block got a clothing line or nephew I grew up with got a clothing <laughs> line. I'm still going to do me and I'm still going to push my product. Um, for me, personally, I just feel like I, I, I believe in my brand. I've been believing my brand. I, I believe in my brand before I even made it a brand. At first, it was just a group. And my cousin was one of the one of the people in that group. And Y'all we, rappers? You know, we, no, was, we, we were basing the name Flea Guys off of how we dressed. Okay. People okay. knew we wasn't. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, okay. they, they knew we weren't from, from down south, uh, a.k.a. Um, um, Virginia. 
So when they seen us dressing, they like, oh, we all from, you know what I'm saying? Y'all look different. And different to me is good, you know? Different, different, weird, whatever you want to use, it's good. Because I don't want to look like everybody else. I, I like to stand out. So when I realized that people was gravitating towards how I look and dress and everything, and it, to this day, it still happens. You know, I was like, let me, let me make my own brand so people can see what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? See, see, see what I'm, um, um, I'm repping. You know what I mean? So, right. how about you? Uh, what made you go ahead and say, I'm gonna just take this leap? I don't care what anybody else got going on. Man, the first thing was like, I'm gonna just say like, I'm different. Like, I, 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 I literally told myself like, I'm not everybody. That's mm -hmm. first thing. And then the next thing I thought about was like, like you said, it's a million clothing lines out here. You know what I'm saying? Nike, Nike didn't care about Polo. Polo didn't care about whoever. Like none of these companies care about the other company. It's just like, bro, what we got going on is what we got going on. We gonna sell our college shirts, this, right. that, the third. We don't care if they over here selling t-shirts and socks or this and that, whatever. Like everybody could do everything. You know what I'm saying? Because the second that, let's say, we every like a big thing became socks or something. Mm -hmm. if, if we down here doing that, the, the people up there, eventually everybody going to see it and everybody going to start flocking to the same thing anyway. So right. why not why not get why not get your hands in that? You know what I'm saying? That too. It's a whole bunch of things you can get your hands into. But why not get into that too? You know what I'm saying? And then I don't know about everybody else, but another thing with me was, you know, imagine going places like, other stores over there. I ain't gonna keep saying names and none of that. But imagine going to certain places and then it's like, oh, I can't, I can't get this or I can't get that. But I know, like, you know what? I could actually make my own brand and I can go get whatever socks I want to get. I can go get whatever hoodie. However, if I wanted to zip up from the front to the whatever, like I could do whatever I want with my own clothes. So right. then it just got to a point where I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm about to get my own clothes for 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 a lower a lower price. And then still live. Because I like to dress comfortable. You know what I mean? That's always been my thing. I've always been comfortable. Like, I don't care if we had the club, we here, there, wherever. People be like, damn, bro, you, you came out in some sweats? Like, yeah. And it's like, people still be like, yo, that nigga fresh, though. Like, yeah, all right, though. All right, word. I feel that. Yo, where you get them from? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So right. it's just like, you know, yeah. All right, so uh, before we switch lanes, before we switch gears, uh, any advice y'all want to give to anybody that's, that, that they, they, you know, they 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 want to print their first T-shirt, but yeah. they they scared. I have a couple. Yeah, uh, they scared. They don't want to, you know, like like I said, they man up the block is uh they got he got T-shirt brand. They man down the street got the sock brand. The other man, man doing the hat brand. So it, it, the fear is holding them back. Any advice y'all got for the up and coming, uh, you know, the the, the people in the fashion world? Look, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm say this right here. First of all, this is what my grandmother used to always tell me: when you got an idea, just go for it. Scared money don't make no money, you know what I'm saying? So if you're really trying to get into it to brand yourself or show yourself off, don't worry about money, you know what I'm saying? Money is going to be one of them things that come because it's a million, it's a billion people in the world. It's not just it's not just your mom, your dad, your cousin, and your uncle. If they don't like it, then that's on them. I guarantee you, you post that somewhere, it's going to be like, I'm not even going to lie, I post mask or anything. Most of the people that, like, like look at my stuff and view my videos and all that. They be in the UK. They not even in America. I never seen them before. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I'm dead serious. And this this is just from I could see like views from my website. Um, like I can even post a video on Facebook, and most of the views come from the UK. That's wild. Word. So, um, I'm just gonna touch on the money part. So, with, if you gonna start a, a brand or any anything, any type of business, don't go in it for the money not going in for the money and I'm telling people I tell you that because realistically it takes about anywhere between three to six years for your your brand to really be nationwide global That's whatever. A so mm -hmm. when when you go go in a game with a couple t shirts, a jacket, whatever the case may be, and think you're gonna make a thousand dollars a week off of it, no. First of all, right. you gonna have you gotta put the work you gotta put in the work to, to see the results. And Putting up a few T-shirts and, and whatever is not is not enough work. You won't have to do that every day, even on days we don't get no likes, even when 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 people um, uh, discourage you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people like to put their fears on people. You know what I mean? That's and then also, um, don't get discouraged when somebody don't buy your brand. Don't get discouraged because I say this all the time. The 
on like ten thousand people that's not going to buy from you, the next ten thousand people will. I promise you. And because it, it's it's too many people in this world, you know. And everybody everybody like like clothes, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, if that the ten thousand people don't like it, the next ten ten thousand people will. So, um, j just just take it. And, and, and day by day, one at a, one at a time. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. And um, also, material, <laughs> material. Don't 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 go don't do the cheap route. Just just to get your stuff out there. Um, do your research on t-shirts. Do your research on whatever any type of clothing you're gonna get. And um, also the type of print you're gonna do. Just do your research. Period on everything because it's, it's much deeper than a, some cotton and, and, a, and, a, and some ink on a t-shirt. It's much deeper than that, right. you know. Especially if you really, really want to turn it into a brand, you gotta start thinking about all the accessories that come with it. But that, that's the major things, though. It's just uh, money, uh, uh, fear, and and um, pushing your stuff out there. And good, right. good quality product. Yeah. Word, yeah. word, word. So we are gonna switch gears. Um, Y'all both dropped a little, little, little nugget on me. Y'all, neither one of y'all really dove deep with me, so I feel like this. I feel like this the, this the perfect opportunity to, we gonna put this out there. We gonna push forward with this insurance. Y'all going into business together with insurance. I'm not sure what's going on. Please enlighten me. Do y'all have your own business? Are y'all, are y'all, are y'all joining? A major brand already and y'all coming together what's going on with the insurance is it now, life insurance is it car insurance what are we talking about all right so now everybody everybody is like familiar what's not maybe not everybody i'm not gonna say everybody now some people know like what 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 nipsey was into like when everything that nipsey like left his kids he had he had specific accounts where you know he might have he might have had a minimum for a certain number and just it's certain accounts that we are not really told about that we could go literally dump money in and then and not when you 60 or 59 and a half you dump money into these accounts and then in 15 years so if you start like right now i'm 26 so if i start right now i'd be like 41 when i'm 41 i'm gonna have a guaranteed untaxed at least at least 500 you know what I'm saying? And that's that's on thousand, the five hundred K and that's on the low end. You know what I'm saying? So everybody will think like, yo, you know what? We gotta we gotta go to work and we gotta get four oh one Ks and this, that and the third. But what they don't tell you is when you go get that four oh one K, you you don't have access to that money until you're fifty nine right. and a half. And then like let's say taxes right now I think is like thirty three percent or something. Let's just say let's just say thirty just to make 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 it easy. Right. You 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 get a million dollars for your four hundred one k. If you go pull that out after your fifty nine and a half, they're taking three hundred k. Now let's say something really happened in your life and you're not fifty nine and a half. They're gonna add ten percent to that. So now that million dollars just turned into what like what six hundred k. So you just lost four hundred for nothing. You know what I'm saying? When you could have when you could have been doing something right now, and then in, in, in 10, 15 years, you got the same money that your 401k would have gave, and then what do you do? A smart person is gonna be like, oh, let me take this out, I'm gonna go invest it into something else, and now I'm gonna make a bigger account and mm -hmm. dump the money back into it. But you know what I'm saying? If y'all wanna do that, uh, y'all can actually text my phone. Uh, my number is 757-918-1331. Just text me insurance, and then I'm going, um, We'll schedule like a, a a Zoom call with y'all, so we'll we'll go further into it. But I'm telling you, it's something that everybody need Life to know changing. about. This is literally what Nipsey did for his family, Kobe all of his kids, Kobe, like everybody. These this is what these people did for their families, and you know, it's it's sad to say that we we all gonna die. We don't know when we gonna die, but I guarantee you, if I die today. My daughter, yeah, she'll be sad that she lost me, but she'll have a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? She'll be a millionaire when I leave here, and that's a guarantee. That's a fact. It's all what? about leaving stuff for your kids. That's million, do million dollar life insurance on my flesh. Facts. You know I mean? that word that, up. That nip, that nip. Word hey, Cuz was serious, too. He gave out his real number. Word. Yeah, that's, yeah, my yeah. Real, that's my real number. Like, you word. could, word you could text me, text my phone. That's my real number. So if you, you hit that number, just text me insurance, whatever. Um, you could text me. Well, text me insurance and your name, but I'm gonna schedule a Zoom call with you, and we we going we gonna chop it up. Yeah, what you got? What you got on that uh, on that insurance tip? Um, see, well, I'm um, just now we we just now starting this, you know, and um, he brought me in. Yeah, we kind of we like we like partner we yeah. like partnering up for real. So we yeah. both 
we both still like in the game, learning the game, but we just like, it's just like one of the things that I'm just focusing on because this is one thing where it's like, yo, we have to spread this knowledge because mm -hmm. it's not nobody. Now, they'll go to Hollywood and be knocking on your door like, hey, you know, we know you got a million dollars and nah, da nah, da. Nah. Well, mm -hmm. I know, do, do, is your family insured? Is this and that? Whatever, whatever. But ain't nobody going to come to the Bronx and the Jets and knock on, they, they going to go to every floor all the way up to the whatever 35th floor and all that. They're not going to knock on everybody's door like, yo, do y'all got life insurance? Do y'all got this? Whatever. They're not even going to try to push that information to you because they're already looking at you like, well, these people in this demographic don't don't right. have this and that. So they're not even going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's my job or our job to just go out and be like, yo, this is what we got to do. This is, this is how it starts. This is what you're going to have at this point. It's like a whole chart, and they give you everything from beginning to end. You right. know what I'm saying? And that'd be the thing that I wish, like, you know, what Nip actually did. Nip actually did tell us. He was he was telling us stuff, but I just hate the fact that we don't we don't listen to certain things. Like, we'll listen to somebody talk about, oh, yeah, well, we got to we gotta slide on somebody block until everybody dead. But when somebody say invest in yourself, it's like, hold up. Yeah. Like that, that just go right over that's your a, head. You know what I'm saying? Scam, that's, that's a straight that's scam. A scam word. <laughs> but then you got rappers that's like cool. Nip that's telling you, like, yo, this is what you're supposed to do. This is how you do it. You get involved, but because it wasn't that shoot 'em up BS, it didn't register to you. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm just like the person that's like, well, I don't rap, but I know some people see me, and it, I'm not like I'm not broke. And then there's some people out here that's like making money, and they probably have so much money and be like, dang, well. What could I do with this? But everybody want to talk about generational wealth, but then it's like, we'll, we think, oh, I'm going to put $200 in a safe, and I'm, I'm going to do that until I die, and then that's that's just going to be good for your kid. But what about when you go to get that, get your kid that money, and now they got $500,000, and they like, well, where did that come from? Oh, my dad gave it to me. What? Uncle Sam going to be like, get that here. We need to we need to see what's going on with that and money. And not, it's going to cut you off. And not only you that, do? You, these accounts... Our most is building your money. It's building. You multiply your money. You know what I'm saying? Guaranteed. guaranteed. A bank account will not do that for you. you the know, stock market not, not even guaranteed. Yeah, well, it's not guaranteed. You're taking a gamble when you do that. So what we're offering is pretty much a service um, that's already existed, but we're, we're trying to reach out to the property because the, the services um, that's already out there, they're not going to reach out to the property. They're not. They're gonna. They're gonna go for the people that already got money, already established, and all that stuff. So, like I said, what we're doing is reaching out to the people in property because we've been there, and we we trying to we trying to better our future, better your futures and your kids' futures too. And it's a promise. It's definitely a promise. You just gotta put in the work. Now, is this the um, this the company brother Ben X is involved with, or is it a different company? Ben X. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'll put I'll put you on. Yeah, I'm about to say. I'm a, What's the do, do you mind do you mind disclosing the name of the company? Um, it's W uh WFG. That's WFG. that's that's who that's who we um that's who we getting our license and everything yeah. through. Okay, okay. Yeah. So y'all gonna be licensed. That's what's up. Yeah, it might everybody be licensed. All of that. Like we actually in training and everything right now. But it's like most of the stuff is just it's it's simple. Like you know what I'm saying. It seemed like. It's hard. It's not. It's not nothing hard. You know what I mean. It's not expensive at all. Like a test. You know, you might pay a hundred dollars to take a test, but you might pay, you know, like thirty, forty dollars to go through a class. You know what I'm saying? But somebody will see like, oh, well, he got a license for this and that, and that'd be the thing. Just that's just the way that our minds work. Like, oh, he's a he's an agent. Oh, he must make a lot of money, and then we just. We, 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 we scare away from stuff like that. Like, oh, he probably had to go to school for 10 and 12 years. Like, it'd be people that get these licenses in three days. It's people that get oh. these licenses in under a month, two weeks. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 don't, take, it's not a, it don't take a long time, you know what I'm saying? It you just depends gotta put on the you, work basically. Where it depends on you. Okay, so you put okay. the work in, and, and that's just what it is. But if you just sit back on it and be like, ah, oh, this, that, the third, and you just let it go by, then that's what's going to happen. You know what I mean? Lord. So correct me if I'm wrong, but both of y'all are y'all girl dads, right? Yeah. You got, you got a son? Oh yeah, yeah. I have, I have a, son. a son and two daughters. Okay, I, I see. I only well, saw he, your daughters. I he thought a you dad, were, dad. Yeah, he a dad, dad. <laughs> so how how is it important for y'all? I already know it's important because of the direction y'all going with the insurance thing. Mm -hmm. How is it important for y'all to not leave this earth and leave your children behind either nothing or debt or they got to do a GoFundMe or they got to sell dinners? 
just to put y'all in the ground. How important yeah. it, how important is it for you to have them set up when you go to meet your maker? It's so important to me that as as we're speaking right now, my daughters, my, my kids are straight. My kids are straight, like right now. And I'm still, I'm still building, building and building just so when I leave this earth, and, and even not before I even leave this earth, they gonna be good by the time they 15, whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? They're good though. And um, it's, 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 it's really important to me though because I want their kids to be good too, so. Word. And that's the same way that I feel. Like, this joint is mad, mad, mad important to me because literally, like, I buried, I buried, like, a lot of family. Like, just last year, just last year, like, I don't, I don't be trying to, like, get on to it, but it was, like, 2020, that was, like, the, well, I, you know, that was, like, the start of, that was, like, the start of my grandmother. And that was 2019, actually. That was the start of my grandma, but it bought on 2020. And, you know, beginning of 2020, I lost my brother in March. The next month after that, I lost four aunts in two days. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, a couple of them, you know, they, they actually did have things going on where they, they left their kids stuff. But then it was other relatives where I'd be looking like, Granny, you know, we got y'all and we love y'all. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to make sure y'all leave here good. But it's not like, you know, it wasn't like a, a easy transition. It's always like, you know... That's when arguments start, cause everybody in their feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like, who wanna who wanna have to worry about where the next dollar is coming from when you, when you gotta put Granny in the ground? You know what I'm saying? Nobody like, cause that's that's a touchy subject for everybody now. Uncle this gonna be mad at Uncle that, and Auntie this gonna be mad at right. this aunt. Like everybody just gonna be in their feelings. That's why you see when 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 you when it's time to bury your grandparent, it be a lot of families that just crumble when the grandparents go. But a lot of the times, it's sad to say, it be about money. You know what I'm saying? So I got to make sure, like, when I leave here, you know, my daughter not having to go to this person to ask them for money or, you know, I don't want I don't want to be a burden on nobody whether I'm here or I'm gone. Just it'll be time. times where I'm in somebody's house. Like, it, it'll be times where I was messed up. I'll be sleeping in somebody's crib, and they always say the same thing to me. Damn, bro, it's so crazy. I don't even know that you be here, bro. Like, because I really don't want to be a burden to you. I don't. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times if I had to come here and I had to be here, it was because I had to. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't because it was something that I wanted to do. Right. But while I was in, you know, those dark places, it was like, yo, you know what? I'm going to keep working to get out of this. You know what I'm saying? So I just never wanted to be a burden on nobody. And I don't never want nothing that I leave here to be a burden on nobody, whether it be my kids, you know, car loans, whatever. Like, I'm not leaving nothing for nobody to, to cry to nobody about, oh, I'm paying this car note. That, like, nah, we're not doing that. Like, when I leave, just, you know, I want everybody to be able to smile to the best of their abilities and just be happy for real, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you touched on something. You said, um, you know, you've been in dark places before. And that's something I want to touch on is mental health. As Facts. far as, you know, just flat out mental health and mental health as an entrepreneur. That's a totally different ball game when we're talking about uh, mental health mm -hmm. because I know I personally have experienced, I like to call it entrepreneurial depression. You know Word. what I mean? Um, it's, 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 it takes a toll on you. It, it, it just beats you down. And, you know, it, it. everything might be going good, but it's just like we invest so much of our mind, body, and soul into the business you look up, I mean, you might not be spending time with your children. Mm -hmm. You might not be, you don't know when the last time you got fresh. You don't know when the last time you Man. bought yourself a pair of sneakers or it seemed like the money that's coming in is going right out the door. Mm -hmm. So let's touch on, y'all, I don't want to start with you. Uh, what have you dealt with mental health wise as being an entrepreneur and how do you push through those hard times? Um, I got a, a few, but I'm just going to touch on the main thing that happens constantly um i get depressed sometimes when i can't get the the order out as fast as i can you know what i'm saying like i said when things are out of my control i have nothing that's nothing i can do about it so i try to offer little little extra things you know what i'm saying discounts whatever the case in the case may be but um it, it's it's hard though i, I go through that a lot like, like i said every week I'm, I'm going through something like that because i like i said i don't have no control over it, over it. I don't. All I all I can do is get the get the product made, and then once the stuff is made and everything, 
getting it, getting it to the to the customer. That's like I said, that's the that's the the part right there. That's that, the victory lap. Yeah, oh, that, yeah. That, word that, up. Yeah, word up. So a touchdown. Yeah. So so um, like I said, my 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 thing to, to fix it is to give out give out free stuff, and I, I don't really like the word free, but you know what I'm saying if it makes my customers happy, I'm happy. So that, that that's this one. That's word like, word. How about you, Ree? Um. Now me, I ain't gonna lie. Like me, it's it's so crazy. I feel like my my depression comes, like my entrepreneurial depression comes when I make big accomplishments. And the reason the reason that is is because my brand is not my brand. You understand? That was that was that was me and my little brother. You know what I'm saying? So. When we when we started this, I'm I'm you know like we we talk and BS about it like yeah man you know we gotta get this and that done yeah we gotta get shirts and la da da, and then we just talk about it and we we work on little stuff here and there and then be like yeah well we gonna get to that later, all right cool you know what I'm saying but then it was like you know life happened, he left so it's like it's 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 mine now but it wasn't it wasn't really meant to all be mine so it's like half of the other half of what I got to carry is like that was that was supposed to be my my little bro you know what I'm saying so it's like when when I when I do stuff and it be like yo we we did real good or you know I made xyz amount of money this week and this is like legal real you know what I'm saying this is all legit like I filed taxes everything you know what I'm saying I think about stuff like that like damn well we just did this then I look like damn well me and little bro we was supposed to at least pop a bottle you know what I'm saying? We was we was supposed to do something. We was supposed to go, you know, take our mom out to to dinner or or, or something. But it'd be like, damn, like you're not even here with me, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it just that's that's really when, like most of my most of my depression come when I do when I do the biggest things. Like when I when I feel like I I accomplish something, my accomplishments low key be like hurting me sometimes. Word. I think I think Word. we call that um survivor's remorse. Word, you know what I mean? Because we we here and we accomplishing what we wanted people that were supposed to be here with us. So it's like you know what I mean. We happy, but at the same time, we not as happy as we should be because Word. our loved ones are not here with us. You know what I mean? I, and they don't even have to be gone, or you know what I mean. It could be. I know uh, athletes deal with survivors remorse a lot. Like mm-hmm. they made it to the top and they can't bring the whole hood with them. Word. So they kind of feel yeah. guilty about making it. You know what I mean? Word. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, man, I truly appreciate y'all, man. Give me y'all time, y'all energy. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Y'all want y'all got any announcements y'all want to make? Anything y'all want to um y'all want to put out there? I know you probably um, got a a, a a special T-shirt dropping soon. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I wasn't well. Both of us, everybody don't know. This is my cousin. Oh, yeah. you know, and we we of course grew up together. Facts. And um in the trenches, man. Yeah. So <laughs> little cuz leaving, that was a, a tragedy. Yeah, so what we facts. we've been working on, I wasn't gonna mention it today. We um gonna come out with something called uh, a brand, a collab, I'm saying, called Humble Gods. Um, right. So be looking out for that. I know that's going to um, be fire. Fire. Probably by the summertime. And also, I uh, brought a couple T-shirts with me. Um, yeah, show me the pieces. You know, this is for the spring, summer um, summer collection. Um, okay. So right here, we got this, the, the Fleet Guys, more than a brand. Uh, it's the Dad TV, our dad television. Um, T because you know I don't really mess with the John Dennis. Yeah, I got I got the blue one right it. here. Okay, okay. You know I mean, my guy, one of my biggest supporters right here. Facts. She got that Nipsey blue. He probably yes, the sir, only yes, one sir. with that. He the only one. Yeah. As you can see, just got the uh, the not designer Fleet Guys T. We got this in green. I have an uh, orange one right now, and we probably you know we're gonna have like five other varieties, and then also the um, hoodie. This is another joint front and the back of it. You know, you stick the flea. And my fault, you getting that jean jacket too? Oh, yeah. Word. You got that heat on it. I didn't even know this was dropping that heat. <laughs> I didn't know that was flea. Yeah, then we also got the jackets with the flea on the back of it, all direct to garment. You know, um, so it, it'll be up there uh, by April, the middle of April. And um, so make sure you look out for that and make sure you look out for the humble gods. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any announcements, Ree? Um, actually, this this one thing I wanted to say too. I know this is way back in the vid, but this was some advice that I wanted to drop, cause it just got dropped on me a few days ago, and I um definitely, I definitely fell into that category. 
like when you got something going on, like try to try to master one thing. Cause one thing, one of my problems right now is I have clothes, I have CMOS, I'm re repairing phones, like I'm I'm and I'm doing the insurance thing. I got so awesome, much man. going on. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's one of the things. Like you know, I'm a hustle until my bread lives eternally. Like I'm gonna hustle forever. But master master one thing and then move on to the next. Like, yeah, those things will pay you this and that and the third, you know what I mean? But I'm not saying, like, I'm different, you know, on no crazy stuff, but not everybody can just think of five to ten different things that's going to pay them 50 or or $60 a day. So if I got ten things paying me 50 to $60 a day, that's five to $600 a day of everything I got going on, you know what I'm saying? But that's like, you know... That's not that's not easy for a lot of people. And that's another thing that takes a mental toll on you too. Mm -hmm. So master one thing and then, you know, keep going. But um that's that's my only that's my only thing for real. You know, just just tap in with me. Y'all can follow me on Facebook. Uh what is it? Johnny underscore lovely. And then um what's my my Facebook is Tyree Walden. Uh you'll see you'll probably see like the logo on my on my picture or something. But yeah, just tap in with me. To get one of these, man. Um, well, I ain't gonna lie. Now it's we we done miss obviously we done miss the winner. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. We done miss the winner. But the shirts is definitely coming soon. I'm gonna have shirts before my birthday. My birthday May 15th. So if y'all seeing this after May 15th, I have shirts somewhere. <laughs> Mark my words, I have shirts. Oh, or plug in your um social media and all that. Oh yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at flee dot god. That's F L E E dot g o d z and you can also find us on facebook that's fleet guys more than a brand also on twitter fleet guys also on google fleet guys and also on the website you know the oh the website fleet guys llc dot com and we we take um we we, we pretty much ship out at all the all everywhere nationwide oh yeah that's the other thing i forgot my website humble clothing llc dot com you want to plug in the uh, the nail trap? Oh yeah, and that's another thing, man. Uh, tapping tapping with my shorty, man. Nays nail trap. You know what I'm saying? Nays nail trap, and then my brother, he also got a clothing line called um, Indefinite. You could you could uh, you could Google. I don't know if you can Google him just yet, but he up, we we all up and coming. So you could um, you could. I know his Instagram is I think Indefinite Indefinite Art. And while he's looking that up, we're going to have a commercial segment. This episode is brought to you by The Corner Store Chef. I am Chef Ron, the owner and operator of The Corner Store Chef. I have over 20 years kitchen experience. We are one of Virginia's top and premier catering and private chef uh, food services. We are dedicated to bringing you a higher quality of food service. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Corner Store Chef. And make sure you check us out at thecornerstorechef.com. Let's eat. Yes, Come sir. Out. Um, yep, so his uh his Instagram is indefinite um indefinite dot art. And then my my clothing Instagram is humble twenty twenty. Word, word. So look, y'all, like I said, I appreciate y'all brothers coming out. Word, appreciate yes, you sir. having us. Appreciate here, you having it's us. Probably, it's probably the longest episode we done had yet, but listen, I word. enjoyed every minute of it. Listen, like, man, like I said, 
Put God first, everything else gonna follow. Head up, chest out, run your laps. If you knew better, you do better. You get with a chef in a blue sweater. This is Above the Corner Podcast, and we are out. See you next week.